Crystal is the founder of A Mother's Revolution, transformational coach, and an entrepreneur. Carl is the founder of Align and a professional basketball player. Crystal and Carl DeHessa are empowered parents, entrepreneurs, and a power couple. Whether they are on the go or spending time with their family, they give everything, they do their all, and that is what makes them the dynamic duo that they are today. Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of In Love With Me, where we feature inspiring individuals who share their amazing stories. I am your host, Mafe Yunon Velasco, and for this series, our topic is Dynamic Duo. They say two heads are better than one. Simply, that is the purpose of our newest segment in which you will meet beautiful couples who thrive in their respective fields, but also together. So for today's guests, I have known this couple for a while. I have been admiring their love for each other all these years, and now they're a beautiful, growing family too. I truly believe they are movers and shakers who need to be shared to the world. So earlier, as you heard, Crystal is an empowered mom, entrepreneur, transformational coach, and the founder of Virago Soul and a Mother, mother Revolution uh, program. While Carl is an empowered dad, professional basketball player, coach, and the founder of Align. Together, they make a great pair, and that is why we call them a dynamic duo. So let's welcome this beautiful couple, Hello, Carl. Hello, Crystal. Hello. Hey, thanks for having us. <laughs> hello, hello, and welcome back, because I know I got to feature you guys um, individually, and now I have you both here together, because I just can't get enough of the two of you. <laughs> so I want to start in the beginning, okay? So let's talk about a little bit of your backgrounds again, um, separately, and then you can then align it to how you guys met and it was love at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, I moved here 13 years ago. Um, I've said it on your show before. I moved here to do to compete in the Miss Philippines Earth pageant. I had no idea I would end up staying in the Philippines. Um, born and raised in the Bay Area. I had no plans of coming out here and when I got asked to do the pageant I was like all right let's do this and I came here and just didn't yeah I didn't expect to still be here today living in Manila but I am um, so that's just a bit about me and then um, yeah I moved here 10 years ago to pursue a basketball career and uh, been here ever since and then what my first maybe first year into moving out here, me and Crystal have met. Yeah, we met at a friend's birthday party, uh, one of your fellow Aussies, <laughs> and um, we met there. And we had both just gotten out of long-term relationships, so meeting was not even something like, oh, like let's go on a date or anything. It was just like, oh, hey, what's up? Nice to meet you. Oh, both of our initials. He was like, oh, both of our initials are KD. And I'm like, oh, cool. You like that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and um, so he Ice would, breaker. yeah, we just would have conversation. We, he would message me here and there, but there was really not much interest. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I, we're, Carl and I are the same age. And, you know, when you're in your 20s, you're like, oh, I want to date someone older. Um, I was older by a month and, <laughs> and so we were like okay uh, finally we end up just hanging out more we hang out more and we become like really good friends because we're going through so much in our lives just like a lot of 20 year olds do mm -hmm. um, you know we're going through similar things and so we felt really safe to share with each other things that are happening. We vented to each other. We even vented to each other about like, oh, I like this guy and this is happening. So it was all of that until he eventually went to, uh, he went back to LA for a vacation. And I was like, oh my God, why do I miss him? <laughs> so the same, I was like, why do I miss her? Yeah, and we kind of questioned that. <laughs> so when he came back, it was kind of like, was 
that weird? Like, and after, like, the rest is history. Uh, we ended yeah. up together, and uh, and then we got pregnant 10 months after. <laughs> I, I, so you missed each other that much. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how much we missed each other. <laughs> But this, you know, the crazy thing about um, what I admire about the both of you is that you both came out here for a passion, right? Yeah. And like you both said, you were going through similar, I guess, experiences and being friends first with your, I guess, your soulmate. I mean, you guys can call each other that now is very meaningful in a relationship because yeah. that's what I, you know, I see you guys have fun, like yeah. even... <laughs> You know, with your your babies now, it's like you guys make it look easy. And I know it's not, of course, I'm a mother too. But um, speaking about passion and pursuing passions together, um, can you tell us about some of the things you love doing together? Doing together, eating. Yeah. Eating, yes. <laughs> eating, for Traveling. Sure. Traveling. Experiencing new places together and bringing our kids with us to experience it with us. And yeah, we love, love going to the beach. Unwinding yeah. is our favorite thing to do. <laughs> um, I feel like we both work so hard in what we do at home, outside of our home. So when we're able to just relax and get away with the kids, we love that the most. Outside of eating. I think like our like little go-to getaway is definitely going to get something to eat. Because we'll go in on some food. Can we leave the kids? We'll leave the kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so question for both of you. What do you like best about each other? I like how she laughs at a lot of my jokes. <laughs> um, a lot of his dad jokes. Like, they're really not that good. They but... wouldn't be funny to people, but she finds them funny, so. Because I'm not people. <laughs> 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 um, I like how smart she is because she helps me with a lot of things that I have no idea about and yeah, this, among other things yeah um, I actually do love how funny he is um, and I love that he gets my humor because my humor can be very interesting but um, I love that I can roast him because some people can be really sensitive to that. Um, but most of all, I love that he puts 100% in anything he does. Like, I, like his work ethic is unmatched. And that's across the board. Like, fatherhood, as my partner, as an athlete, as a businessman, across the board, 100 Like, I can only expect 100% all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see, that's what I love to see because I know you guys talk to each other all the time, but then being asked what you love about each other and just seeing the other person's reactions. <laughs> here, I love that question because I, I, I just see the, the glow in each other's eyes. But now you're both mentors, right? You're both coaches for others. And I know that um, being a coach is also um, a big role. So how different of a coach are you guys to people that you mentor? Hmm. Or are you similar? Hmm. I think that they're different because he has a skill set that he's able to pass down. And so it's very, um, you know, it's very technical as mine is very intuitive. And so it's very different in that aspect. Like I'm really having to hear people speak from their, you know, a place of hurt, a place of struggle. And as much as there is some technique to coaching, um, I don't put a lot of technique in my style of coaching because I'm such an intuitive as where he Yeah, it's had, something I've been playing for a long time. And I think just adjusting from being a player to coach is really on communication and how you deliver the information. So yeah, it's, very different forms of, uh, of mentorship there. Yes, but both very intentional. Yes. Yes, I love it. And I've experienced both of you guys. Um, you know, Carl, thank you for coaching Nikki. She loves your class. And Crystal, oh, you know, I just see the women that you touch, you know, and it's, it's really inspiring because it's very timely right now. So I feel as though that 
not only you guys growing as uh, you know better versions of yourselves. Um, like I said earlier, that's the reason why you are a dynamic duo because you're both um, really helping others. Like of course the youth, um, you know, women in general, and then um, as couples, like the way that you are sharing your love um, to the world on social media. And I know also being a parent is another challenging role. So how do you both find balance to do everything that you do? You know, balance is actually something we yeah, talked about we talk there. about, but we also struggled with, especially during the pandemic, still in the pandemic. But um, in I think like just a few months ago, we really struggled with trying to figure out the balance in our relationship because mm -hmm. because we are both entrepreneurs. Sometimes we can get really caught up in always talking about business to each other. Yeah. And we forget about the um, partner, as in, you the know, husband side. and wife, the romantic yeah. side of partnership. And we really had to restructure uh, our conversations, restructure our day to days, because, you know, we really realized there was a huge gap there that we're only talking about business and we're not talking about, you know, how are you feeling or let's go on a date. So, mm -hmm. That was that was something we definitely had to restructure during the past few months. Yeah, and being intentional with our time and like creating time blocks where like you know certain times is for work, kids, um, you know our own me time, and then really dedicating time for us getting outside of the house together and spending time together. So it's really a lot, a lot of like weekly structuring that we have to do that we have to do together. Yeah, yeah, we like to schedule our weeks together on Sundays and we go back and forth talking about um, what do you have this week, what do you have, and we both try mm -hmm. to clock out by 4 o'clock um, to spend time with our kids every day. So we bring them outside at 4 o'clock um, every day. So that way, you know, there's limits, there's limits. We've created yeah. boundaries in our schedule so that way we're we're, we're having intentional time with our kids. We have intentional time with each other. And then we have intentional time with our work. Well, thank you for giving me the 4 p.m. slot today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized. Of course. <laughs> but I love what you shared about being intentional because that is an amazing word that people really need to understand, especially right now, especially couples. Because you guys yeah. did mention that having honest conversations and having an agenda or um, you know, an intentional plan to even date each other because I think that's the struggle. You know, it's yeah. the biggest struggle with um, you know relationships is that they don't know where you stop talking about work, where you stop talking about you know that's not about you and her or you know um, husband or wife. And thank you for that because uh, I know it really inspires others to really plan out dates, date night or yeah. whatever, right? Yeah. We have to be creative, especially right now. So what is the day in the life with Mr. and Mrs. Dehesa? Like? <laughs> um, he gets up before I do. Yeah. He's usually up at like 4.30 or 5. And um, he does his thing. He does his whole morning routine. Um, and then I get up around 6.30. And then we both go outside to work out at 7.00. Um, and then from there, we all we kind of just go our separate ways. One of us is homeschooling while the other one goes does work, whether he has to leave or yeah. or whether he's home. If he's home, he's homeschooling. If um, he's not, then I'm homeschooling. And after that, we kind of dive into more work, which is really our time slot like that's a time slot for us to dive in because that's the only time we have yeah. uh we we try to have lunch together doesn't always happen but after that we hang out with the kids around mm -hmm. four o'clock we go outside we hang out with them and we they play with their dinner. friends and then we all have dinner together the wind down is usually me hanging out by myself for a bit while carl hangs out with the kids and then we all hang out together until we're able to get them to sleep. And then it's party time. It's like, no, it's not. It's, it's a little more work time. It's like we can, <laughs> yeah, we, we wind down by like 
finishing up anything that we had to do for work, planning the next day, mm -hmm. and that's pretty much how our day-to-day -day goes. It doesn't sound like super exciting, but mm -hmm. they're full ass days. <laughs> yeah, that time right with now, like work and like everything else is pretty exciting. Yeah, <laughs> it is, I mean, if you're in it, it's, it's great. Um, the work time, of course, is not like we get to zone in completely. Especially me being home with the kids, like someone's always looking for me, always, always. <laughs> and uh, so that can get pretty tricky, but you know, that's why we do have a time to cut off and hang out with them. So what is your visions? What are your visions in life? Like for your own and for, for the two of you together? Mm. Our vision is to have a place on the beach, we're able to retire, chill out, and be able to move around as free as we want. And, um, you know, send our kids off to like the best schools and be able to watch their games, whatever they, whatever sport they choose or whatever they choose to, to do, you know, be able to be around to support them without having to, you know, worry about being somewhere else. You know, be able to move at our own time together and uh, travel the world together and experience beautiful things together I think that's that's my vision for us and uh, be able to eventually get our businesses running on their own but still be involved but um, you know just to just to grow each and every year yeah um, we definitely want our businesses in their own right to grow and expand um, I mean his business is called the line worldwide because that's how we how much we want it to grow um, same with my coaching you know I want this to evolve into something where you know um, I'm touching women from all over the globe and with that it's going to give us the the power to move around freely uh, most of our family is still in California so ideally we'd like to go back and forth we don't want to um, really leave vanilla. We love it here. So to go back and forth is ideal. Yes, a house by the beach, but also um, <laughs> a house in the city because I mean life, right? Like our kids aren't going to go to school at the beach. Um, I'm talking about like later. Yeah, that's like way later though. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like 45? See, we're like planning right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, ideally, like that's, we have really big dreams and it gets, it's nice to talk about, especially with other people that have big dreams because it can be very, uh, when you explain your big dreams to other people, you can get a lot of eye rolls and, or, or a lot of like, oh, okay. But, right, sure. Right, okay. <laughs> and um, when it happens, what's up? <laughs> no, not that, but um, like, you know, it's it's nice to be surround ourselves with people who also have big dreams because you get it, you understand that, you know, all of these are visions that we aspire to work towards. So you understand the work ethic and what it takes to get there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you guys have, you understand being uncomfortable already. Because you sacrifice yeah. where your comfort zone was, coming to the Philippines, pursuing a passion, and then meeting like-minded people. And yeah. that's the reason why you guys met also, because you had the same vision in your life. And yeah. that's true. It's not easy to pursue certain dreams and goals. But once you take action in it, and you, know, you just see the, you know, your results and your empire growing, then that's when you both have that validation that, hey, I chose the right decision to pursue yeah. something that you weren't really sure of. And what's amazing about that, you guys are still so young and just know what you want to do and just empower like other people's lives. So if I bring it back to when you were really younger <laughs> and even that decision, that time that you were thinking about moving to the Philippines, what advice would you give to your younger self? Um, my advice would be to not be so scared to try new things or just to don't be scared to go for it. 
I think a lot of the reason we don't try things earlier on in life or put ourselves out there so early in life is because we're scared. Like we're scared of failing, we're scared of the judgment, we're scared of, you know, how our families will react um, because we're taking the, the road less taken. But, you know, if I would have been a little braver earlier, you know, who knows? But I, of course, embrace the entire journey I've been on. But it would definitely be to not be so scared to take those risks. Yeah. Um, for me, it would be to trust myself more. Um, to trust, you know, that I know what I what I want specifically. I know what I need yeah. to get to where I need to be. Yeah. And to, uh, you know, keep the people around me that will help me get there and recognize it earlier. Yeah, so important. So important to surround yourself with people that genuinely believe you and trust that you are also making the right decisions. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, we're, we're speaking to also uh, people in relationships right now. So like I said earlier, it's a challenging time. And, you know, people are faced with decisions or faced with, um, you know, um, not feeling good. So what would be your advice for couples, for people in relationships on how to, you know, keep the faith and that everything will be okay? Uh, perhaps your own, uh, like you shared earlier, you guys have open communication. So what else can you share with everyone? One, I think, is definitely the communication. Yeah, communication. Like, don't be scared to have those hard conversations. Yeah. Uh, this pandemic has forced us to have so many tough conversations that, you know, you feel like you don't want to say something because it might hurt their feelings, but that's not our intention, right? If your intention is to solve the bigger issue, then it has to be said. Yeah. And so we've had a lot of tough conversations for sure. So communication, 100%. And what else? And I mean, for couples that have kids, I mean, really trying to find time to, to have that together time. I mean, getting that together time is really important. Yeah. Um, being able to just connect and have no distractions outside of you two is, uh, you know, it, it's, it's powerful because you'll be able to just focus on each other and not have any other distractions around. Yeah, and I think another big one um, was to, shoot, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> That's um, all right. But yeah, like, you know, I, I truly believe that that is possibly your secret on being a dynamic duo. But is there anything else that you want to share with everyone on why you are such a pro couple. Okay, I remember now. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I feel, we push each other. Uh, I, yeah, we do. We definitely push each other. We are, we're both super competitive. We compete against each other all She's the time. You're trying to one-up me all the time. All the time, all the time. <laughs> and I always win. Um, and that's okay, right? To keep that healthy competition. But I think a, something that brings a lot of anxiety to couples is to, is always, it's, a, it's great to plan for the future, but don't be so caught up only looking at the future because then we forget to stay in the present and mm -hmm. that's when all the anxiety builds up. And yeah. it's so hard to get out of that once you're there, right? Because you, then you go down that rabbit hole of what if, but then what? Oh, I might do this. And it's it's hard to get out of that mindset. So when you do get there, it's it's good to just come back and be like, wait, we're planning for the future, but we don't need to stay there, right? Yeah. We need to come back and just be here and handle this. And I think that pandemic has showed this. You can plan as, for the future as much as you want, but we are not in control. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's something that I heard just recently is that, you know, your habits create your future. So <laughs> Crystal, you're so right about um, be, staying present because you're not able to enjoy what you have in front of you if you keep worrying yes. about the past or worrying about the future. And for you both, I see it. It's you, you have such so much joy and love for each other. And earlier, you know, 
Carl keeps saying that you you always have like one up against him, but I think that's also his way of showing his love to have a happy yeah. wife in the home, yeah. right? <laughs> yes. I think it's funny because a lot of people will always like be like, oh, we'll mention how my personality is a lot stronger than his sometimes. But like what people, and that's just an ego thing, right? To be like, oh, but the man needs to be the one with a stronger personality. And, I'm a laid back dude. And yeah, and like we're like, hey, that's how our dynamic works. Like he's the yes. laid back, super laid back one. I mean, I'm pretty laid back, but I do, I do you run. Get yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that and that works for us, you know. So I think like men who marry strong women, like they know what they signed up for. Yep. They know, like they wanted this. They wanted that dynamic because it works. Mm -hmm. can't work if it's too aggressive folks in the house and like it's just constantly like boom 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 it's yeah he'll be like okay go ahead she can handle that she got this (laughs) (laughs) so speaking of strengths um that's pretty much the you know we've we've talked about your passions your visions and uh, um your goals so i i now i just want to you know lighten it up and uh, um, I hope that you guys enjoy this. It's I got inspired by that book, Strengths Finder, and I, I tweaked it a little bit and wanted to see, um, you know, just the reality of who is the stronger personality in these characteristics. So it's just like a, a little game that I came up with just to spice up the oh. interview. <laughs> Sorry, we love games. Two thumbs up, and if you're game, thumbs up, and then when I say this characteristic or this personality this yeah personality it's either you point to yourself or point to the partner okay just something fun all right so the first one who is more organized (laughs) (laughs) all right so who is stronger mentally (laughs) i think i'm gonna go with him too i'm gonna go with him Oh, Carl, you're going to win everything. Who is stronger physically? Oh, yeah. This is where I always remind the woman, hey, didn't you have kids? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm going with her. Okay. She's been working out. She's pretty strong. <laughs> awesome. Um, who is more patient? Oh, me. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so who is more emotional? So if you watch like an emotional movie, oh, me. Cry. everything across the board, me. <laughs> and I think you answered this earlier. <laughs> you answered this earlier. Who wakes up first each day? Oh, oh. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> Who is the chef of the house? Oh, me. Right there. <laughs> Who is the stricter parent? Carl. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Um, who is the singer? Me. <laughs> although, when, although when we did start hanging out, he would sing super loud in the car and be like, yeah, I'm Trey Songz. I'm like, what? I am. <laughs> we got to hear a sample call. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who is the dancer Me. of the house? And that's it, guys. <laughs> I hope you had fun. Oh, no more. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Okay, who's the better athlete? <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> and who? Okay, who's the better public speaker? Oh, oh I get lessons from her. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I know you have a lot going on, and please, this is the the, the floor is yours. Share it to everyone and invite them to all your programs. All your events is upcoming, and I have to also quickly sh- sh- shout out to to Crystal. Um, if you weren't able to, I guess, experience her events before, this woman, she was, um, you know, really inspired me on on the, the events that you've created, especially in BGC, the um, youth stock, even um, was the other ones that you had uh, with the booths. So. Yeah amazing woman right here guys so if you haven't followed her yet please do but she will tell you where to follow her all right i'll go um okay you can follow me uh instagram at crystal dizon dehesa you can check out my website 
at www.crystaldizondehesa.com. I am a life coach for specifically for mothers. I have a program going right now. We just started our third cycle called the Mother's Evolution. If you feel like that's something for you, please shoot me a message or just follow me on IG. I, I'm always putting updates on there. And I also have a Mother's Empowerment um, blog called The Virago Soul. So you can follow us there too. And there's a lot of hum mother humor, a lot of empowerment, and a lot of realness that everyone needs to be ready for. Yeah. Um, my Instagram is kd.align, my personal page. And the business page is Align Worldwide, at Align Worldwide. And then the website that I have is alignworldwide.com, where we offer online classes, online trainings for all ages, from five to nine years old, and then nine years old up to 18 years old. That's for online, for all parents out there that are kind of hesitant to bring their kids to live in-person trainings. We do offer a fun, interactive engaging class that they can kids will get better and compete all in the online setting as well as a train high school college professional basketball players if anyone needs training shoot me a message <laughs> yes guys and that is the reason why these two are dynamic duos because they continue to inspire others and that is the reason why they're so blessed and I just want to um, wish Crystal Happy Women's Month and yes, Happy, happy Women's Month, month. You too. Yeah, to everyone out there, I hope that this episode has inspired you. And you guys always know what to do whenever I share this. Actions speak louder than words. And thank you for tuning in in this episode of In Love with Me. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Love you. Thank, thank you so much for having us. us.